He trusts you, don't worry. <clears throat> and I'm slacking the rope a lot, so... There's room for error this time around. <clears throat> if I may... I'd like to... take you somewhere, if you would allow it. I suppose. I think you'll like it. Let me just recenter my horse. <laughs> Presumptuous. <clears throat> oh lord. Okay. <sighs> Alright, buddy. I know this is weird. It's okay. Close like this in moments of power. <clears throat> it can help you. Say you're riding next to a wagon and someone needs to get off quick, steadying your horse so they can jump over. Or potentially trying to slow a wagon and stab a wagon driver in the throat. Always fun. You say like you've done that before. Oh, easy boy, easy boy. A very, very long road to get here, Kyla. My hands are not clean. I realize that I've spent half my life trying to get to where I am now, right? That's a long time for human years. It is. I don't doubt your dedication. What is this? It's a waterfall. Leads off into the ocean. Pretty good view from the road up there, too. Such simple things in such a torn continent. I sat up there with Tazim and talked about the future a few times. What kind of future? A good one, hopefully. Yeah, but what does it look like, idiot? <clears throat> he sees me on the throne, eventually. He describes himself as old and frail, but I find that hard to see. He watches as I hold court and do everything a lord should. A populace that loves him. Knights that are loyal. That sort of thing. He has high hopes for what me, do I you guess. see? Besides what he wants. I had a dream, actually, about it. I was in a strange room. In a keep, I think. It was all stone everywhere, stone floors, stone walls. I was... crouching in front of a stone statue. Of a warrior, plate armor, big two-handed sword. The description on it was... Lord Arnulf Erhard. Along with the date that he died, I don't remember it. I remember looking to the right and seeing a similar thing. There was a casket of a woman you've never met called Raylan. A woman Arn fell in love with 
after moving to Ireland. She too was... well... dead. I don't know. Lonely, I guess. This next bit will crack you up, though. I heard footsteps behind me and I turned around and... two kids ran up and called me dad. And I woke up. You a dad? I know, right? You can barely take care of yourself. That's what I keep telling people. Are you gonna cook for them? Are you gonna oversalt your food? Yeah. You're going to do fine. But there is the reality that I think you understand. Yeah. There's a good portion of us that probably won't be there at the end with you. I've had a uh, conversations with Sir Gregor. Sir Hildum, I should say. Gregor Hildum. Arn's first ranger. You've probably heard stories. We found him in Adwick and... He was supposed to look after me. I remember having a conversation before the siege started. I asked him... Would you... Do you think you could ever see a... United and happy Gwen? And he said... Not in my lifetime. Which I suppose is true. you have to make it for your mystery children then, huh? That generation. Yeah, exactly. Which will be thousands Stop. of years. Yeah. Drow ruler. It's kind of nice, considering at least there won't be constant people vying for power every 60 to 70 years. Stability in that regard, I'm blessed you with. match the flag? You should see these uh, new noble clothes on board me. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can imagine you in noble clothes. Not in a bad way. It just doesn't seem to fit your spirit. I'll show you when we get home then. See what you think. I hope. I pray. You're the only one getting new clothing. I don't do dresses. I think the only reason I'm getting new clothing is if we pull what we're trying to pull off off, then we'll be up there in the keep. So, if we're stepping out no, of the shadows. I'm, like, I my if it's fine, because my job is to be a dog, not a lady. An honor guard. I would, before that. I would ensure that you wouldn't have to dress up all fancy. You can carry a sword and such around as you follow me about. <sighs> Thank the Lord. Come on. There's just not enough room to run or kick or do anything. <laughs> Hopefully you won't have to do any of that. Morning, Ting. How are you? Who's genius idea? Oh, mine. He's not still in there, is he? No. Yeah. I don't know where he is. Yeah, exactly. All I know is that this is one of the places that he says that he constantly patrols around and looks at. Usually at night time, yes. We're only stopping for a couple of minutes. And daytime. Harry has gone to the mill to grind grain and ran into him twice. Mm. <clears throat> I'll be on the lookout then. 
was under the impression that he'd moved on. No. It's my hope that he hasn't. Otherwise, I'm not able to fix what's wrong, but... More so just glad that nothing has popped up. It's... Worried that it might. It's okay. We're heading out now anyway. Okay. Well, if you need any other hidden spots that aren't nearby here, you try the other side of the bridge. Right. Thanks, Ting. Have you, uh, met Elena properly yet? We've talked in passing. Good. Haven't been able to have proper introductions yet, however. This is Olena, she's from Ewan. Olena, this is Tang. We met him in Ledford. He's been alongside us ever since. He's one of the trustworthy ones. I see. Good to uh, finally meet you. Or at least <clears throat> no more of you. I apologize for not being more forthcoming earlier. Depends on who no, young Sharik explains that I am capable of speaking with at such a level. Given the amount of people that are actually that trustworthy, it's understandable even more so. But good to know who your allies are whenever things go to shit. Hmm. I'm doing better at filling her in in that regard. Good. We're gonna head out then. If what you said is still about, then we probably shouldn't stay around for too much longer. It's not something that's become an evident problem, but it's just something I worry about every time I come down here. I appreciate frankly, the concern. If it is as quiet as you say, I would love to show pe more people my workshop, but no. <laughs> Certainly a roaming death bot that's able to stab through you in one go. She'd protect me. That'd be fine. <clears throat> Look after yourself, Ting. I'll try. Ready? Like you said, the area around here is quite pretty. It's a shame the whole province is, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's not like this in Gwyn then. It has its beauty and its charm. Hard to appreciate it when you see everything else going on. Ah, I see. But depending on where we land and where we end up, if I'm still breathing, I'm sure you can take this up and show you. That'd be nice. You know, despite all of this training and preparation, I still don't know very much about where we're supposed to be going. <clears throat> Kazim always talks a bit fondly. Is it really that bad? Depends on who you are. If you're somebody like my father, one of the 
people who lived through it all. You yearn for the past and feel guilty. And you watch people like you go through some unthinkable thing. My options were train as a lady. And then do what ladies do and get married to some probably imperial asshole. Or train. And spend my time focusing on another young man. Bet you didn't think it'd be me. We go this way so we don't go through the main gates. Surprising. Not in a bad way. Yeah, I get that a lot. Sometimes in a bad way. I know I'm hard on you, but that's only because I think you can do it. You know that, right? I do. It took me a while to understand that, but I do now. And I do appreciate it. As much as I whine and complain, I appreciate you not letting me get away with it easy. I'd rather be hard on you now than have to pick you up off of another battlefield. You understand that's probably going to have to happen again, right? You up breathing than not. Yeah. I think there's a conversation we should have in closed doors. Let's get inside then. Kenya. Kenya. Everything okay while we were gone? Uh, no, not really. What happened? A lector came by and they grabbed Dazim and went to the clinic. I haven't heard anything since, but it doesn't Fuck. sound like yelling or fighting, so. I assume they're locked down, right? Yeah. There's probably a bunch of them with those loud sticks, whatever you call them, night killers, I think. Correct. If he's there with the lector, then I probably shouldn't show my face. No, you most certainly shouldn't. Smart. Right. Very smart. We're gonna dip inside, get as if something terrible happens, yeah? Mm, one company? I think we need to have a conversation. Alright. We do now more than me. ever. I'll come out in a bit. <sighs> yeah, secrets are your own. I'll simply stand watch. If they ask if you're in there, I'll tell them no. Thank you, Sif. Making sure you weren't hosting another dinner party without realizing it. <laughs> Valid concern, honestly. Do you understand why I'm here? Honestly. I do. 
Oh, I like to think I do. Why don't you go ahead and explain to me why you think I'm here? To protect me and ready me. Do you know what that entails? Go ahead. That means that we have to have a very hard conversation about what happens if your father goes down or gets taken in. Okay. It's not a fun conversation to have. Okay. But hypothetically, if he doesn't come back from where he went today, what do you do? I'm gonna finish what we started in this province. He needs to... needs to be secured. After that... Yeah. Yeah, why? Are you talking about Tazim? Mm, yes. Yeah, we heard about it. I'm choosing not to stick my head around if it's the lector. The last thing they want to see is a draw. Yes. Do you happen to have those buckles? It should be out at the front. Mm. Yes, Tori needs those in start my order <sighs> right <clears throat> if you tell me where they are I can grab them I know what just around the front there's a little baggy yeah I don't mind if you rifle through things you're not gonna take anything right. get me if something terrible happens well I might be dealing with them today possibly be careful You said yourself that your desires to help Norris aren't your father's. I understand what he's trying to do. And if I'm looking at it from a strategic standpoint, Having a stronghold here would be useful, regardless of what we do. So securing the province is definitely a priority, regardless of what happens. And what would you do if you lost your father? What's the next step? We heard about uh, the air, right? Ways of Harbor. We'd have to go there. I need to know what it is you want to do, if and when that day happens, so that when you fall apart, because you're a sympathetic mess, I can put you on a fucking horse and get you there. It's not a fun conversation, believe me. My job isn't to your father. He made that clear, it's to you. Right. We would burn his body, recover his ashes. I would not bury him in Guardian soil. Once we get back to Gwyn, we can figure out what to do with them. After that is taken care of, we're going to make our way to Wazer Harbor, assuming that the province is under our control. We're going to follow any leads on the air. Without... In this scenario, without Arn, the people of Gwyn are going to find it really hard to follow me some upstart drow that has his name. Having the air there will give me a air of legitimacy. At least, I think they will. You also have myself and Crenshaw, obviously. Of course. From there, we'll take a ship. You need to steal yourself. What I saw the other day on that battlefield, whatever you were dealing with. I guarantee you losing your father. If and when it happens, 
going to put you in a similar, if not more dangerous position. I obviously do not hope Lord Arnold falls. But we need to be realistic and understand that my duty is to you, not him. I understand. And now what? Now what? Yes. He's not here. But now what? We wait. Can't really do anything about the clinic. And wait productively. Some writing lessons? Go get your book. We can go somewhere else if you want. We don't have to stay inside if you want to keep eyes. The roof, perhaps? If you think that's the best place to go. Yeah. As much as I want to be, I shouldn't be around the clinic. Why do you think they took him? <clears throat> I don't know. I know he's been having meetings with uh, Sergeant Sanders and Ladia. That's the extent of my knowledge. So, would you consider this a fortuitous meeting or an unfortunate one? Well, if it's the Lecter, probably not. But she seems resourceful. There have been, uh... It's been a silver knight poking his head around, trying to investigate everyone. Goes by the name of Volk. Might have something to do with that. Regardless... Silver? Yes. Regardless... There's nothing we can do. He's gonna have to use his silver tongue to get his way out of it, which he usually does pretty well. I'll be right back. Oh.
I'm gonna take it. Never mind. <clears throat> Brigitte. Fancy outfit didn't come up. <laughs> Difficult conversations. Difficult training. I know it is in preparation of things to come. It is hard, but I know in the end it will be worth it. Things <clears throat> are now in motion, and they cannot stop until it's done. We will secure this province. Or die trying. <clears throat> Get right. The dread knives come. Blood sports in the street, that guard run around screaming around town about an execution. I don't care about the southerners' brutal way of trying to maintain peace in their facade of power. Yeah, I've been to Morden if you happen to go that way. Uh, I don't know if Morden's that way. I haven't seen the runty bastard in quite some time. He will be dealt with in time. The sky is purple, and the clouds are white. If trade with gods, they're probably more of the guardsmen that they don't agree with. Kyla. If they're executing people publicly, probably not the Capitano's men, it's probably the Capitano executing other men. Well, let's go find out. Also, uh, I know that, uh, Ariel came back. Look, Miss Ariel didn't come back. Huh? Miss Ariel took the Smith to the clinic, or... Oh, no, he hasn't come back yet. Well, more than being fooled. Did you drop off the Um, I want to check it over? Do you want me to check it over? Do you feel you need to check it over? You said you were out of whatever you could get and you could drop off. I'm guessing this is like anything new. I feel like you're allowed to have a place for your thoughts. As long as you're practicing, they can stay yours. Especially Grand Cryf. Fond of writing in here. 
and I'll trust you're practicing. Instead, you can write me a lovely letter about how much you missed all of our training, and I can judge that. Hmm? <clears throat> I, dear Olena. Nothing, go on. <clears throat> I missed our training. So, okay. so, very, 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 very. Very much. I'm still feeling extremely tired. Nothing's really felt like it's changed. PTO. <clears throat> it might be. It just might be a hereditary thing. It's something in this right now. I'm not sure. I'll see. I missed our training. More than I missed Gradian oranges while in our land. My heart doth break each missed day. I long for the return of my beloved training. Without my training, I am nothing. X O X O. Drow boy. A missive, my lady. Do you know whose men were executed? I assume not the Capitanos. No, they weren't. Oh, that's interesting then. Apparently, they he had them executed for abandoning their post. Well, well. There's two souls I won't weep the loss for, then. How stupid, you know that? <laughs> Not that I would weep the loss of... Your curse is improving. <clears throat> However, yeah. I'd like to know that you can spell more words than just very. I'm very, 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 very good at spelling it, though. No. Hmm. You know, the harder you work on your cursive, the more you can impress those bathhouse workers. Women love a good love letter. I don't even think half of them can read. It's a thought that counts. They see scribblies on a paper or fancy. So I, I get really good at writing the word very, with like lots of flourish. <clears throat> You're going to have to learn other words in very. Mm -hmm. What other cinnamons are for very? Well, cinnamon is a spice, so none. Oh. But if you're looking for synonym... That's the one. Yes. Welcome How is it? Politics, if there's any about you know, money, sell their own mother. Synonym, not cinnamon. Cinnamon is sweet, and there's nothing sweet about any of this. Hmm. My letter, though, that was sweet. It was patronizing. I use the word doth. No one uses doth anymore. People in my books use the word doth. Aren't they like really old books, though? 
No, they're just fantasy novels. Oh. High adventures, faraway places. Knights, princesses. <clears throat> shebang. Are you going to write your own book one day? You're doing the big adventure thing. Okay. About what? This. There's nothing exciting about my adventure. What do you mean? Yeah, There's I... no success so far. There's no romance. There's no dragons. There's no monsters. Not yet. A heartbreak. You hang out with us long enough and you'll probably get all of that. That's a good question. What does Smith gonna do to help us? Enough for monsters, I'll pass on the romance. As I told <clears> you, it leads to nothing but problems. Could not agree more. I prefer it in my books. Hmm. Well, you've done all of your studying today. I can't give you any shit there. I can go play with so, my friends. If you want to be rid of my company. Yes. <laughs> I don't think there's much happening. The streets seem pretty quiet. And of course... <clears throat> my heart would be in twain without thy company. Twain? Yeah. So Kyla, you betwixt me with your words. Perhaps you should take more time to preclude what it is you wish to say instead of being such a melancholy little rump rat. His eyes just glaze over. I like rump rat. That's fun. What does that mean? I, I'll take it as a compliment. I don't know. My dad used to call me it all the time when I was being difficult. A rump rat. Yes. I got called street rat. <clears throat> Rats are misunderstood creatures. They're very intelligent. Mm -hmm. Intelligent, resourceful. Quick. You're going to be able to keep yourself busy while you're waiting for your father. I'll try my best. I'll probably do a couple laps of the town and see if uh, any developments have happened. Now, okay, <clears throat> if I find you asleep here, that's okay. There, not okay, right? It would take me, like, one rolling movement, and I'd be down the roof and on the street, probably dead. I watched yes, you... So oh, I no, that's a there. weird... Um, what? Nothing, I... <laughs> You were asleep for a while, and I was trying to decide if you were asleep or not, so I was keeping an eye on you, and when you sleep, you are like... You don't move. Leave. Now. I'm taking my book with lately? me. No. Take your book with you. Taking my book with me. Thank you for stopping this meeting. <clears throat> I know we're up to the keep. Alright, thank you. Of course. Yeah, you gonna take a second shot.
What the fuck? Headset? Headset? Right, right. <clears throat> right, right. Oh, we're back. We back. We back. Everything okay? What the fuck, my... Hello? Fine, jeez, my god, um, <clears throat> everything okay? As much as they could be. Yeah. You gotta hang in there, buddy. I'm trying, I'm just... I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to sleep tonight. I know my home isn't safe. <clears throat> we have the couch downstairs if you need it. I'll probably be fine. I'll just... Think of something. Dare I ask? I pissed off somebody. Does she wear blue? Green. Hmm. Oh. Hey, good luck with that. <laughs> oh yeah, no, her, you missed the it. other green. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I was told I was fucked, but... We'll see. There's an execution that happened. Who? Guards who didn't want to help the Capitano. Did you get names? <sighs> Alright. Basil? Not them. They're looking for me. Good or bad? I don't know. I do not know. Lily? What did they want? Yeah. Uh, they wanted to make sure we were okay. Yeah, 
Shelly, you haven't seen Marcus anywhere, have you? Not today. He just wandered outside of the walls. Why? Today, please. I, uh... Well... I need a place that offers some privacy. Yeah, good luck. He went that way. Got it. Thank you. Told you a measurement. Would you know what the measurement would actually entail? Specifically. I was figuring you'd show me. Like, we gauge how big, how long a be long beard's hey, beard has to be to be a long beard. Got anything? Yeah. Mm, no. Nothing right. new, at least. Uh, you saw the guards get, get their head the chopped, right? Executed? Oh, they asking well, about the guards the, uh, got their heads cut off. For abandon, aban yeah. ab uh, abandoning their post. Quote unquote. Don't be so fucking stupid. So, what about Tazim? <clears throat> he has not left. What about Tazim? Alright. Not just always with the lector. No, I've not seen him since. Yeah. He did not leave the building. Give me if you hit. You shall have Sundays or Lodea. You think? I've been keeping my distance. Them. If the lector is about, I don't think a drow hanging around is a good idea. I could get one of them to come speak with you. I just remembered that there is something I need to pick yeah, up from I Master Morning. Excuse me. Stomach, uh, again, for a while. I already know the I already know the question. You might as well ask it. Mm -hmm. But more to oh, just okay. Never mind then. get a scoop of vial of it. Or a bowl smash over the head with it. Hey there, Bucci. The lector is currently talking to Tizzy. He is not broken yet. <clears throat> About They're what? not torturing him per se. Per se. They're roughing him up, but he's not breaking. The Lector is going through any means to learn of the Mage's death, even if it's someone who ran into the clinic to save his friend. It's a connection, and he wants to pin it on someone. As long as Tizim keeps his cool, he will get his chance. Things he was saying in there was quite... It would make my blood run, what the Lector was saying. But as long as he keeps his cool and doesn't lash out, he will have his chance at revenge. There's a high chance that Lecter is going to Corano, along with some Silver Knights. If they happen to disappear, it would help out my position and your position. Well, as I understand it, there's already a group of people who are looking to go there. Fingers crossed, I suppose. So. <sighs> that lectin needs to be removed, and that book needs to be tossed in the sea. Or burned. Thank you, Lario. Please tell him this whenever he gets out, as I know he won't listen to me. He will have his chance if he gets sent to Corano and intercepted in Corano. Six knights, one lector. In the dead of night, not a chance they have. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I, 
Are we still gonna have that conversation later? Yeah. No, I feel like okay. um, we can have it now if you'd like, or would uh, you like to wait? Um, we could do it later. I know you're probably busy. All right. <laughs> but I'm afraid about to go train. Best of luck. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Best of luck. Thank you. Stay safe. I think Maverick put it into one of the kids. It's a really bad joke. It was a really fucking bad joke. Not exactly a comforting sort of punishment. Well, you get this right out of you. I'm sure, sir. Sure, Howdy. Been busy today? Hmm. We shall Good see. Mm. Bought some gloves and bought some gloves. Jake, do you know anything about a volunteer group going to Corona? No. Should I? There is Have one. Seen Clifford anywhere? It was by the forge earlier. Not recently. Oh. I'll search around there then. Thank you. Hmm. Who's your friend? Okay. <clears throat> oh, I've heard there's a group going to Corona. Trying to speak to that damn noble woman about it. 
I don't know. I don't care. But I'm not my own reasons, and that's enough for me to accompany them. There's this hopper, evidently. Interesting. Hmm. Isn't it? Uh, hello there. Hello. Yeah, welcome to my shop. I've been wanting to uh, buy a crossbow. You, uh, Did she appraise you any information? Did I do? Ah, actually, I have just a thing. I just, uh, Nothing I already morning, guessed actually. myself. Oh. Hmm. Here you go. So, well, yeah, if you want to take a look. It's a shame you're good at guessing. Oh, uh, I hope. Me, uh, Quite good. Let me test the string. Am I able to do that? By all means, of course. Unfortunately. Yeah, do, uh... <sighs> oh shit! Yes, it does take a little extra effort. Oh, <sighs> oh, this thing is a lot of work. And you just load the button. Right, here you go. Bolt in there. How are you all right? And then, how do I, uh... I should well, what you need to do is... Where do I need to talk about this? Uh, Sanders is an 11. Sanders is an 11. Won't work on your on your footing. Your defense is a bit. You seem too aggressive. Whenever I uh, when it, before whenever I would try to read the French so I just got outpowered. How you're gonna do the training in those shoes, but you can always practice this on your own. Okay. You wanna make sure your front foot. Let me take them off. I know they're referring to <clears throat> um, about the the Elven Ranger. I uh, I think the Elven Ranger armor stuff is going to be um, a little bit, guys, just for those of you hanging out for it. Just uh, movement or actual spark again? Bend it more. There you are. There she goes. Bring backwards further. <laughs> Faster. Now when you switch. There should be one motion straight to bend. Right? Now try again on the spark. Use the footwork. Come on. 
should probably charge while I'm here, actually. <sighs> Fuck it, we switching out of the armor. I don't need it. Sorry, punch my fault. I got better facial expressions too. Am I gonna run into an elf one day named Onomatopoeia? Fucking racist. Would you believe that Gabam's lost an inch of his hairline every time he's been taxed by the dynasty? Got a couple. Hey there, Shuri. That's Shuri. I couldn't tell his hood up. Could anyone else other than Sharik do this? Oh, that that's that's how he lets us know it's him. That's good answer. Um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a oh, bit. I knew it. Well, you've caught me, Mr. Marcus. Oh, I had to catch you bending over. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I was plugging <laughs> in doing... my hands. What happened to you? Yeah, your hands are. You'd see he's bandaged on his shoulder and his thigh. Um. Oh, that's yesterday, right? This is from yesterday. Yeah. yeah. I'm still recovering. Um, but I wanted to ask you how to go. I never. I just drove the injured back here. I was part of and the injured. And then I fucking passed out. So I don't know. That's right. I did bring you here. Good! Yeah, I don't remember really much either. I think it went well. <laughs> I think it went pretty well. Good job on that. Good shit. I gotta catch um, up with Tazim and ask him right, how it fucking I... went once he's out of the clinic. Did you hear about that? Right. I saw him being pulled into there to speak to the lector. Yeah. I don't know if you know anything about that. Yeah, that's all they've heard too. Um... I'm sure he'll be back out at some point. I wanted to ask you... There was a woman... Yesterday, at the fields... Who had- we had pretty much squared away that she had surrendered. You know, weapons down and all that. And we were to pass judgment... On whether or not she would live. We were, I was gonna convince you all, of course, to try to give her a fair shake. But before I could even do that, someone had slit her throat. Uh, pretty clean, uh, with the cut. And I was wondering if you knew uh, who had you been playing it. something? Because that's pretty bad. No, I'm not saying you I didn't did do it, it, but it was. It I had to be. I know it's not you. I'm not saying it was you. I'm saying one of us had to. All of us who went there, one of us had to do it. Beats me. Honestly, I was at that point. I was out of it. By the time the fight had wrapped up, I everything was blurry. I wish I could help, but okay. The reason I ask is because that was intentional. <clears throat> that was pretty plain. Right. 
so it's I'm asking because it's the right thing to do I'll keep a closer eye on our um, group if you don't know that's okay yes because <sighs> I don't want to be a part of a group that just met as people it would make me regret pretty much everything up to this point yeah. so you can kind of see where I'm coming from here we had a lot of people there. It could have been anyone, but I'll keep an eye on them next time. And if I see them do it, I'll have a talk with them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. And um, with Miss Orlena, you don't have to come up with anything special. I think that's just a burn bridge. <laughs> I, did, I did try and talk with her about it this morning, but she didn't seem into it. I am trying, though. <laughs> it's fine I'm not out she's here to change how people confident enough to me. work with you she's fine with that she just the buddy buddy thing I think is going to take her a while to get used to that's all I mean even speaking professionally right <sighs> I mean I don't know they speak with you, but this may be someone who doesn't act like any of their stations. Not a lady, not a knight. So She's kind of an in between. Anything? <laughs> she has a weird in between. Her intentions are pure, and she's like doing either, a good though. thing. That's kind of right. Okay. Yeah, that's fun. I gotta get going. I don't know. Maybe I'm stuck to labels. Uh, did you need an escort? Um, no, domestic? I'm just... It's all right. I'm just heading out. Okay. Uh, the Iron Door? Yeah. Nice, huh? <laughs> <clears throat> I, I, I had fixed it up, and I thought that was going to stay around. Nope. <clears throat> oh, I wanted to clear something up. You had, um, fuck. you had guests over the other night when, I don't know what happened up there on the balcony. Was everything all right? Because I didn't get much when I was turned away. Everything's fine. Just, uh, handling things that needed to be handled. <laughs> Another secret in the dark? Yeah. I'm on top of it, though. Okay, uh, that inspires some confidence. I'll have to have faith in you. Good. Uh, but when you had guests over, I had the contingency of sending them away. Is no. that not the case? I would have preferred them to stay there, especially with talks of assassins running about throughout the streets and up in the keep. I would have preferred our friends stay down there next time, <laughs> if possible. What I meant to say is, if these people were bashing down doors again. I didn't want them caught in the fuss because the guards keep coming to this place. Yeah, and if it is something that they suspect me of, I mean, fuck, we were having a dinner party. You know? <clears throat> Hello! Morning. Right. Hello having yourself. people around is a good thing. <clears throat> How can Hold I help on. you? Hmm? Where's the blacksmith? <laughs> the blacksmith's right here! Uh, How can I help? Are you being fucking smart with me? No, sir. <sighs> Forget about it. Hmm? So if they do suspect How me of something, having people around is a good thing because it causes an alibi. Just as a hint. Alright. Shilbrook was looking for you. I know. I've already talked to him about it. Hey there. <laughs> of course I fucking miss it. Stuck in a fucking conversation. Oh. I've never played an instrument in my life. Good morning. 
pretty fun. How'd she do? Yeah. I prefer a different medium of art. She's new. That's fair. Although. Why not a smaller or large? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what the I fuck does that mean? Medium Hang on, what the fuck does that mean? Medium means a, um, a what is? Character. Although she seemed uh, <laughs> upset that you like, left. A medium of art yeah, I was trying to change out of my armor, but I got caught in a fifteen-minute conversation of things I already knew. I'm pissed off too. I'm upset. It's another word that has two different. It's meanings. fine. I'm gonna teach her to beat you. She already beat me. <laughs> You know, watch her lay me out. Laid. Fine, that's not gonna happen. Don't even. You forget, Freak. I can get her to your level. I guess we'll see. And then when it does, I'm putting my money on her. <laughs> Doesn't it take like 30 days or something like that? You really gonna go that far just to... 15. 15 days. Fuck, I might not be alive in 15 days. Wouldn't that look silly then? If that's true, that would also be true for me. He's hoping not. You gonna just hang on to that or are you gonna give that to someone? Now... You look like a day drinker. Now I'm gonna have to... Well, I don't drink at all, so... <sighs> yeah. I bet you're fun at parties. I have to... Uh, deal with a... very difficult problem. I'm gonna let her do that first. No, 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 no. I feel like this is something that needs to be taken care of. Is that my usual for Miss Quite a while. I've never seen her that pissed. Put it this way. What did you do to her? The confidentiality is We got into a short argument. About losses. And who suffered? Everyone suffered. That's what I tried to explain to her. You know what she told me, kind of? Oh, not the other one. I figure. All the Imperials should die. Including the Warmunch. I'm sorry. Thanks, no respect. Right. That didn't really sit well with me. But I tried to keep my composure. Some people have strong stances. And now I have to go say, I'm wrong, you're right. You don't have to. I do. To say sorry that we disagree. You think that's gonna work? No, not at all, but I doubt this is gonna work too. You don't have to know the space you just over there. I it may take time. Sure, it may take time. I want to see how this goes down. A couple of years? Uh, no, we're doing this in private. <laughs> Good luck. Well, no offense, Aegon. Come on now, it's my, it's my no offense. Welcome to the audit. It's going to help you more. Be careful who you ask. He wants you to be offended. Oh no, I'm just. Well, I mean. You want to have that conversation? It's kind of hot. Oh, fuck. When you choke on your own spit, you just suddenly fail to stop fucking living for a second. Mm -hmm. Sure. Lead the way. We can just go to the bathhouse. After you.
I got gotcha. you. And again, it's full set. Full set, so head, <sighs> arms, legs, chest. Shoulders, yeah. knees, toes. Hmm. <laughs> But yeah. All right. So, um, thir um, so thirteen, the thirteen squad shoulders, knees, toes, legs, and hips are full set. I think we can just do it in this room. <clears throat> I, uh, after thinking all night, I, I, I now know, don't know how to wear this even more than last night. And, uh, I did get you something. It drops in your hand a heart necklace that can be broken into two with two pieces of string to make two necklaces. And the back of it has a little latch to hook them together. I know I said I would wait for you to get over everything. Um... I figure when that day comes, you could give me the half and wear the other half. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. I will treasure this. Thank you. You're welcome. Last night I was just gonna make you close your eyes and put it on you, but I, I didn't want to force you into something you didn't want to do. It's very sweet of you. I'm sorry I missed uh, your uh, sword training. That's all I... I got caught up. Um, it's fine. I, I was just kind of worried that I was too bad and you didn't want to watch it. <laughs> we'll have to work on your footwork, but... I'm impressed. I've, I've been trying. I don't know who your I've teacher is. I've been wearing these heels so much when I'm not in them, it's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs>